M.M.S. Swaminathan, an agricultural scientist, at the moment speaking from New Delhi, uh, India, uh, on the occasion of the 40th anniversary of Biodiversity International. As I was one of those who was actually associated with the birth of what was then called the International Board for Plant Genetic Resources uh, in 1974. I am therefore extremely happy the manner in which during the last 40 years this unique organization has grown so well and uh, is making a remarkable contribution. Biodiversity today occupies an important place uh, in research, in, in action. It's clear from the fact that there's a global biodiversity convention and uh, Biodiversity International uh, has shown that biodiversity is the feedstock for sustainable food and livelihood security on our planet. And the major feedstock for plant breeding is biodiversity. Without diversity, I can't breed new varieties. So biodiversity's uh, contribution in terms of identifying, conserving genes of importance to sustainable food security, uh, really monumental contributions they have made. And uh, because I think first thing is awareness. Unless people are aware that biodiversity is important, the attempts to conserve them. And it has stimulated smaller organizations all over the developing world. Uh, we have our own National Bureau of Plant Genetic Resources, which is modeled in some way on biodiversity, the same kind of mandate, pattern, and so on. And I think it's the Biodiversity International's work which stimulated also the Global Biodiversity Convention at Rio de Janeiro in 1992, although it is somewhat uh, uh, larger, broader. But uh, the fact remains that because most of the agrobiodiversity is ex situ conservation, although in situ on farm conservation is also being increasingly emphasized by Biodiversity International. So I think the role of uh, Biodiversity International is a catalyst, is a catalyst for conservation. And it has brought together a coalition of those concerned with the conservation of genetic resources. We can't, uh, we can't ignore any species or gene from the point of view of conservation. Uh, the local level gene bank and seed banks which are now developing, they have become a veritable source of valuable genes for resistance to a number of pests and diseases and also for drought and floods and so on. So flood tolerant genes have been identified. So we look at agrobiodiversity for uh, facing two major challenges. One is the extensive prevalence of malnutrition. There is also the problem of hidden hunger. The other aspect is climate change, changes in temperature, changes in precipitation, changes in sea level. All these require new genetic material, and this is why the next 40 years of Biodiversity International are going to be even more challenging, and I'm sure the Biodiversity uh, International will be the flagship of the human quest for conservation of genetic resources.